Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bethany and today I'm going to talk about the books that I read in the month of August. So August was another good reading month for me. I did not read a lot. I mean, I did read a lot. Like, booktube, you know, is kind of crazy. <laughs> but like, for the average person, I read a lot. I read five books, which is plenty. <laughs> but um, anyway, the quality was really good. So I had four and five stars only, which is awesome. And I'm going to start with my four stars and kind of share with you my thoughts on those and then share my two five stars and talk about those a little bit. Okay, I'm starting with two books together. That's Powerless and Powerful. So I do have a vlog up of me reading fantasy books and these were both in there. Um, I did tandem read them so I'm including them together because I read them at the same time. Um, I have, I followed like an Instagram post that told me um, where to start and then where to go, how to switch back and forth. So that's what I did and I recommend you doing that because that was such a fun way to read these and so impactful and I just really 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 loved Adina's story and powerful like I just loved it so much um honestly I almost gave powerful five stars and powerless four stars um I don't know why I didn't actually you know what I'm just gonna do that I'm gonna go back and switch it because I loved this so much I loved Adina's story like I think the reason why I didn't originally is because this isn't a book you can just read by itself, I don't think. I mean, I guess you could, but there's not a lot of plot in it, I guess, versus what's going on in here. But I loved this part. I loved getting just the like sweet part of I Adina's life and Adina and Mac together. Um, and like, I think I just needed that break from all of the like drama and action going on in Powerless. <laughs> I think I just needed this. So if you haven't read Powerless yet, I definitely recommend doing a tandem read and reading Powerful because it was so good. So if you want some more details on my whole experience, um, definitely check out that vlog. I will say that there is some language in these books. Um, there's definitely some violence. Um, it wasn't too much for me. Either one of those things weren't too much. There's also um, some like, I think they're teenagers. I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure they're teenagers. This is YA. And there's also some like drinking in there. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, but I really loved these books. And like I said, really 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 loved powerful and love Adina so much so I recommend those okay the next book that I read that's four stars is a good girl's guide to murder this is by Holly Jackson and I read this for my in-person book club I also really enjoyed this this is a YA thriller very fast-paced um I really enjoyed this the only like problems I guess I had with it are um it did have also some language obviously like it's about murder um and there was like a lot of like talk about teen drinking teen drug use drugs like talked about by name um just some things like that I don't like I wasn't I don't know it didn't ruin it for me I still think that for an older teen this book is fine um sometimes I don't enjoy like talks about like teen parties and like that kind of stuff it's just like almost like it's not triggering it's just kind of like some like 
nostal like bad nostalgia if that makes sense I don't ever know how to explain that but I don't always enjoy that a ton um but I really liked the characters in this book and it wasn't like romanticizing like that part like teen party life it definitely was like showing the dark side of it I guess too so um for that reason it didn't like bother me or, or make me want to say like I don't recommend this book I definitely think it is very entertaining very good very fast paced I did go ahead and buy the second and third book in this series um this is actually my daughter's book so I just kind of borrowed it and then bought those other two to give to her because I think if she reads this she's gonna want to move on to the other two so like I said there is some language in there and just some things like that to be aware of but overall I really enjoyed it and it was so fun and fast-paced okay now we're gonna talk about my five star books so the first one is Appalachian Song by Melanie no Michelle Shockley I should I should know this before I start filming. Anyway, this book um, was really good. This is a historical Christian fiction and I almost just gave this four stars because I don't know, like I wasn't as gripped by it as maybe I could have been. Um, it's definitely not like my one of my favorites of the year, but I ended up just giving it five stars because I just wanted to give a book five stars I guess like I just felt like I had been giving out a lot of four stars and I really didn't find anything wrong with it um and I love I think the author's note at the end just helped me to bump it up to five stars because I just I love that effort that goes into writing historical fiction I just love that I love that people do that that they do research this is set in the Smoky Mountains. It is dual timeline between the 40s and the 70s. It talks so much about adoption and um, it's very life affirming. It does touch on infant loss, abortion, and just like the heavy like emotions that come with adoption, like finding, specifically finding out you're adopted as an adult. So that is in here. I just feel like I should say that just in case um, those are things that people don't feel comfortable with reading or, you know, might want to like check into the details on that first. But um, this is such a sweet book. There was that little bit of mystery as far as surrounding the adoption. Um, but I just really loved the faith content in here was so good. The... Um, like I said, that just that like emotional, the adoption process. I felt like it was handled really well. Like it's not a personal experience, I guess, of mine. So I don't know for sure. I just know like from people kind of around me. Um, but I thought that the way that it discussed like the mother's perspective and then that child's perspective as an adult and just all of the emotions that there was actually multiple characters um that had been adopted and just the kind of emotional turmoil that comes with that and like working through that I just thought it was handled so well um also it talks about it's following two midwives in both timelines so I really liked that aspect of it like just the midwife practice and how like even in the 70s in the Smoky Mountains just how there were like different communities um who didn't trust or didn't like want to go to hospitals or use like the more modern medicine and preferred to have a midwife and a home birth and I just I really liked all of that like aspect of it too so anyway I recommend this definitely for sure it's really really easy to please me with historical Christian yeah like good faith content and good like historical elements I just love it so I definitely recommend this one especially if you like historical um, if that's kind of your thing or if you have like a connection to adoption or something like that I just feel like um this book would be a good one to pick up. The last book that I think is my favorite for the month 
is Heinz Feet on High Places by Hannah Hernard. This is a Christian allegory. Um, this edition is beautiful, but this story itself is so beautiful. Um, so anyway, I'll kind of do a little flip through so you can see some artwork. Also, my highlights and tabs. This, oh my goodness. So this story is a beautiful story. This edition is a beautiful book, and I read this as a read-along with Krista at Books and Jams, um, so I will link those videos below. We did weekly live videos. I was actually only able to go to two of those, but I'll link all three of them down below because if you want to read this, I definitely recommend watching those like as you're reading it because that was so helpful for me. Um, it definitely elevated this reading experience and to be able to discuss it with people um, helped me so much because sometimes allegory can be a little challenging and um, I just really enjoyed that experience. I think that that really helped to make it five stars, make it my favorite book of the month because um, of having like that discussion with other people about it, other believers and uh, it just really helped. The Lord really used them to use this book to speak into my life. And so I'm so grateful for that. Um, it is following a character named Much Afraid. Um, I love like when allegory is so obvious. Um, that is helpful for me when like the characters' names are, you know, Much Afraid and Fearings and all of that. So I really um, enjoyed that. I kind of need that like direct, like this is what you're supposed to get from it. Um, so that's helpful for me. I also can relate to being much afraid and worrying and fearing. There was, there's just so much good in here. I want, I wish I could just like read you all of my highlights, but that's why I'm saying one, you should read it yourself. <laughs> and then two, Go watch those videos on Krista's channel because I think um, that they would just be a blessing to you just like having that conversation was to me. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend this book. It is so good. All right, those are all the books that I read in August. I had a wonderful month, read really good books and had good discussion. And I'm just so thankful for this community and these books and learning about all the different books. I'm so thankful that I get to read and talk about it with you guys. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books, what you thought about them, if you plan on reading them since you've heard me talk about them. And I look forward to chatting with you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.